It's a we, Wario. <laughs> it's a me, Wario. Nah. Hello, everybody. So today we're going to be reviewing WarioWare Smooth Moves, which came out after the Wii launch in 2007. It was also on some of Nintendo's other consoles and portable game systems, such as the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, the Dual Screen, or the DS, and the GameCube. So just like every other WarioWare game, this one follows just a random structure, and you play through different levels, which each have their own series of minigames, and they're all completely different and completely random and just really funny. I love this game. Just need to get that on my system. <laughs> yeah, we both really like this game, and um, it's just a great Wii launch title. So the graphics in this game, um, they're not really... The cutscenes themselves aren't really anything to like rave about but um the game itself just the humor is really uh, satisfying and it's just really funny yeah i i think it's amazing it's the best game ever created in the history of mankind but not as good as the alien games those are way better okay um also i i love this game so much because wario is probably one of my favorite nintendo characters he's just like super awesome and like super smash bros brawl he like farts on people really relates to my personality and the sound the sounds of this game are also pretty like crazy and they have no consistency at all they're just crazy like bleep, bleep. just like completely random yeah so yeah uh this game has single player mode which is pretty fun and you could like play basically each like level is just a bunch of mini games you hold the wii remote in different ways to um, play these mini games, like maybe you'll hold it with two hands in front of you, like you're riding a motorcycle, and maybe the mini game is that you have to pump stuff down, like pump a balloon up or something, or like you have to hold it and pretend it's a sword and slash like a barrel like a samurai, and um, yeah, it just makes the game super fun, and it really works with the Wii remote. And also, you only have like it's like three seconds or like five seconds probably for like each mini game. Yeah, some of them are, like, you're not sure what to do, and that's the fun in it, just trying to figure it out, and, because there's so many minigames, you probably won't get tired of it for a while, um, yeah. And, yeah. Also, um, you have lives, you have, like, four lives, and it, every level sort of has a theme, and you're, in this level here that we're watching now, you have cats as your lives, and it's just, it's a really, like, great game, it, like, gets you in the mood, you're like, yeah! And yeah, like, it has this really like bouncy music. Yeah, it's like boom, tika boom, tika boom, tika boom, and you're like, yeah, cats. Yeah, you kind of want to like dance around when you're playing it. Yeah, I actually danced around a lot when I was playing it. Yeah, this game has a really like um, just thrills you. Like you, you can't like at the same time you're trying to figure out this mini game. You can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. Uh, I just want to tell you guys one thing that I love about this game. Absolutely love about it is that you could have like sort of like really, really cartoony, like smoothed out like characters in the mini games. And then you could have like real like people who took like photographs in the background is like all cartoony. And then you could have like really realistic like hand, I don't know, I don't think they're hand drawings, but it's just like a really weird style. Like the style is everything. Yeah. So once you um, get beat all the levels, you start unlocking other like mini game things, like side mini games. And those are kind of fun too, like one you have like a ping pong paddle and you keep bouncing it up um, in this like never ending building or skyscraper whatever it is and you see how far you can get. They're just high score mini games. And also uh, I know that in the Game Boy version for the Game Boy Advance, I know that you could actually unlock like specials like games, like kind of fun games. They're pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, there's also one level in this game that you can use the nunchuck with, and um, it would have been cool to see more of those mini games because those were a lot of fun, and it just completely took advantage of the whole Wii idea. Yeah, so um, the level themes in like this game are really cool. It could go from like retro video games or just like just video games in general to like I don't know like random stuff. Yeah, like, um, in, I know both of us really like this one, uh, stage, 
uh, ninefold stage, and his is all about like old retro video games or even new ones. Um, and you just try to figure it out. And like in one, I know like you like it's Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and you like hold the Wii remote on your head like the Mohawk, and you like try to uh, land on these platforms because you're on a parachute. Yeah, and then there's like a Mario one. There's uh, I know there's a Star Fox one, which is probably the coolest one. Oh yeah, wait, I just want to say this one. I was like so amazed when I saw this one. It was a Metroid one, and I was just like, oh my god. Yeah. And, like, that's crazy that they did that. Yeah, and another thing, um, it's actually through in every level, uh, once you complete a certain amount of mini games, uh, or micro games, I think they're called, uh, you get to a boss stage, and these differ, you know, like in the video game, in the video game level, 9 volt stage. Um, the Star Fox one I told I told you about is the boss stage, and you pretty much go through a whole level of Star Fox from the SNES, and it's just really cool. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, next, let's talk about ways that you could hold the Wii Remote. So technically, you don't actually need to hold the Wii Remote that it tells you. Like you don't need to hold it; just like let it balance on your hand. You could really just like hold it normally, but it just really adds to the gameplay and makes it more fun. Yeah, more engaging. Yeah. Um, so the different ways you could hold it, you could just hold it like a normal remote, and it'll tell you before the mini game. Or you could hold it on your head like a mohawk. Or you could hold it like handlebars. Or you could hold it like you're playing tug of war. Or you could hold it like you're an elephant and you have a nose that's really big and you can't support it. Yeah, they're just, <laughs> they're just crazy different um, things. And another thing uh, we like kind of thought was funny in this game is that the multiplayer. Um, there's different stages of multiplayer. I mean, different um, gameplay modes or whatever you would call. And in one, there's like survival uh, multiplayer, and you play as these like winged versions of your me. Yeah, and our me's just look crazy with like mustaches and afros and just like weird glasses, and they they just like look really funny. Yeah, and and the multiplayer, admittedly, is kind of basic. Like, basic, all you do is just switch, is just pass the remote between two players, but it's still. Um, surprisingly addictive yeah there's this other mode don't really remember what it's called but you're like running against each other and you're like running and then um what happens is that you i don't know what you, happens like you, you fall like, over you yeah after a while die. you get to this um thing where uh both knees are hanging from these ropes and you have to and you have um and you pass the remote and every time it's your turn to get the remote you like switch which rope to cut and if it happens to be yours and yeah like you randomly just choose which rope you're going to cut and there's like these pipes so you can't tell which rope goes to who because like you're basically like hanging over this like shark or no like i don't know crocodile it's, crocodile invested yeah. waters and whoever like drops dies so you cut one maybe one person's will go a little farther down like their rope will loosen and um, yeah, it's just like adds more danger to the game. Yeah. So this is a great launch title for the Wii, and it's one of the best installments in the WarioWare series, I think. Um, it's really easy to find, really cheap, as all launch titles are, and we think you should get it. It's a great party game. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be good with friends, cause it's amazing with friends, and like people, like your family. I don't know, it depends if your family likes video games, but Families usually like this game because it's fun. So that's our review of WarioWare Smooth Moves for the Wii. Happy gaming and stay classy, everybody. Yes. Bye! It's a Wii! Wario! Ha ha ha!